Now you'd expect Kylian Mbappe to be one of the first picks if there was a draft system in football, wouldn't you imagine that? Well, the Paris Saint-Germain and France striker has been at the NBA draft overnight and had some wise words for the stars of tomorrow. No, first of all, first of all, they have to enjoy the moment. Like I say, it's one time in their life, but it's only the start of something great. Uh, they have to work. They know it's tough in the NBA, but I'm confident because if they are here, it's because they have a lot of talent. During the broadcast, we also got to see a clip of Mbappe shooting baskets, proving actually he's not only deadly in front of goal, he's also decent with a basketball too. Here, look, and any chance of him being drafted by his favourite NBA team then? My NBA squad is the Lakers. Lakers? Yeah. yeah what are you What are you hoping they do? They do this off season? Uh, I think they're gonna change a lot of things. I think they change the coach now, the manager. So they're gonna change a lot of things, and I hope they can win the, the ring next season. Now, as for the draft itself, point guard Paolo Banquero was top pick. He's going to the Orlando Magic. With the first pick in the 2022 NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select Paolo Banquero from Duke University. Caro, fourth player from Duke, selected number one overall, most of any college, getting the love from his family, proud of his roots from Seattle, the ACC Rookie of the Year, 17 points and eight rebounds and three assists per game, 6'10", 250 pounds. You know, prior to becoming a freshman star at Duke, Bancaro was a freshman backup quarterback at O'Day High School near Seattle. I, I don't even know what to say. I really... I can't believe what just happened, honestly. Um, I never would have thought that this would happen. You know, I, I wanted to be in the NBA, but I didn't know I would be here, man. I, I really honestly didn't. didn't. Um, so this is unbelievable, and I, I can't speak right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was also a big night as well for British basketball. Jeremy Sohan was selected ninth overall by the San Antonio Spurs. He was born in the U.S. but raised in Milton Keynes and Southampton as well and became the first British basketball player to be taken in the NBA draft for over a decade. With the ninth pick in the 2022 NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Jeremy Sohan from Milton Keynes, England and Baylor University. Nine. This is the ninth pick, I and love Sohan going there. Second Baylor freshman ever drafted. And the first Baylor freshman drafted in the first round of the common draft era. We're talking about a young man who brings the flair. Oh, yes. And obviously you can see it with the fits and the hair. Yeah, brings the flair and brings the hair. I love it. Every single time he's out on the floor, I get flashbacks of... Dennis Rodman in the 90s. What's going to be the hair color? And he likes doing that. And he it's that competitive that. gene. Why is That's it crazy? So I'm not going to lie. My heart was racing so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so happy. And I, it's just such a blessing. Blessing, you know. I have no words. <laughs> I have hmm. Well, Sky Sports NBA analyst Mo Moonsi certainly was able to find the words to the, describe the pick. He said... A kid who grew up in Southampton and Milton Keynes just became a top 10 pick in the NBA. This is legendary, a true inspiration to the next generation. That really was an emotional night for so many of these young athletes and none more so than Jaden Ivey, who was selected number five overall by the Detroit Pistons. His mum had her own career in the WNBA and she was on hand to help him through. This is everything, man. I, I work day in and day out to just get to this level and you know I, I know I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her and I'm just I'm just I'm just so happy I'm just so happy Neil I'm, I'm not gonna lie I thought you would be the one crying <laughs> but you are stoic but as you look at your baby achieve his dreams and know how much of an impact you had in the example that you set what's this like for you I, I'm speechless almost you know like this is his dream come true um, you know, to be in Detroit, we have so many amazing roots in Detroit. To be able, for him to, you know, be able to walk on the, that stage, and I'm just so joyful. I'm so happy for him. So I'm just taking it all in, soaking it all in.